Hello everyone! Today you'll see how actors of Once Upon a Time in America have changed. You'll know their original names and age. I will show you how they look then in 1984 and how they look now in 2024. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Let's go! Robert De Niro, born on August 17, 1943, is a legendary actor known for his versatile performances and intense character portrayals. In Sergio Leone's epic crime drama, Once Upon a Time in America, released in 1984, De Niro delivered a mesmerizing performance as David Nudlis Aronson, a Jewish gangster navigating through the criminal underworld of New York City. At the time of filming, De Niro was 41 years old, already established it as one of Hollywood's most esteemed actors. His portrayal of Noodles captured the complexities of the character's journey spanning several decades, from his youth in the streets to his rise and fall in the criminal empire. De Niro's commitment to his roles often involves extensive research and method acting, making his characters profoundly authentic and memorable. Another remarkable film in De Niro's illustrious career is Martin Scorsese's Taxi Driver, 1976, where he starred as Travis Bickle, a disturbed Vietnam War veteran working as a taxi driver in New York City. As of April 15, 2024, Robert De Niro is 80 years old, yet his passion for acting remains undiminished. Despite his age, he continues to take on challenging roles, proving his enduring talent and dedication to his craft. Elizabeth McGovern, born on July 18, 1961, is a talented actress known for her captivating performances across film, television, and stage. In Sergio Leone's epic crime drama, Once Upon a Time in America, McGovern portrayed Deborah Gelly, the love interest of Robert De Niro's character, David Noodles Aronson. At the time of filming, McGovern was only 23 years old, bringing youthful innocence and poignancy to her role amidst the gritty backdrop of 1920s Prohibition-era New York City. Her portrayal of Deborah, a woman caught between love and circumstance, added depth to the film's complex narrative, earning her critical acclaim. Another notable film in McGovern's career is the Academy Award-winning Ordinary People, 1980, directed by Robert Redford, where she starred as Jeanine Pratt, a young woman who forms a bond with Timothy Hutton's character amidst family tragedy. As of April 15, 2024, Elizabeth McGovern is 62 years old, continuing to impress audiences with her talent and versatility. Aside from her acting career, McGovern is also a skilled musician, serving as the lead singer of the band Sadie and the Hotheads. Her passion for music adds another dimension to her artistic repertoire demonstrating her creativity and versatility beyond the screen. James Woods, born on April 18, 1947, in Once Upon a Time in America, Woods portrayed the character of Max, a ruthless and ambitious gangster who rises through the ranks of organized crime alongside the protagonist, played by Robert De Niro. At the time of filming, Woods was 37 years old, bringing a commanding presence and intensity to his role which added layers of complexity to the film's intricate narrative. His portrayal of Max showcased his ability to embody characters with both charm and menace, earning him critical acclaim and solidifying his reputation as a formidable talent in Hollywood. Another noteworthy film in Woods's prolific career is Oliver Stone's Salvador, 1986, where he delivered a powerhouse performance as Richard Boyle, a journalist covering the Civil War in El Salvador. As of April 15, 2024, James Woods is 76 years old, demonstrating a career longevity that speaks to his enduring talent and dedication to his craft. Joe Pesci, born on February 9, 1943, is an iconic American actor. In Once Upon a Time in America, Pesci portrayed Frankie Minoldi, a member of a group of Jewish gangsters in New York City during the early 20th century. At the time of filming, Pessy was around 41 years old, bringing his signature blend of menace and charm to the character, creating a memorable presence in the sprawling narrative. However, it was his role as Tommy DeVito in Martin Scorsese's Goodfellas, 1990, that truly solidified his status as a Hollywood legend. In this gritty portrayal of mob life, Pesci's explosive performance earned him an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor, showcasing his versatility and depth as a performer. At the moment, 
Joe Pesci is 81 years old, continuing to leave a lasting impact on the film industry, despite being relatively selective in his roles in recent years. One of the most notable examples of his later work is his role as the menacing mob boss, Russell Bufalino, in Martin Scorsese's epic crime saga, The Irishman, 2019, where he reunited with frequent collaborators, Robert De Niro and Al Pacino. Beyond his acting career, Pesci has also dabbled in music, releasing a studio album titled Vincent LaGuardia Gambini Sings Just For You in 1998, showcasing his talent as a singer and musician. Additionally, his diminutive stature, standing at 5 feet 4 inches tall, has often been a subject of fascination and humor in the entertainment industry, yet he has consistently proven that his talent knows no bounds, captivating audiences with his larger-than-life performances. Jennifer Connelly, born on December 12, 1970, is an accomplished American actress known for her versatility and captivating performances. In Sergio Leone's epic crime film, Once Upon a Time in America, Connelly portrayed the young Deborah Gelly, a pivotal character whose innocence and beauty captivate the hearts of the film's protagonists. At the time of filming, Connelly was just 14 years old, yet her talent shone through in her portrayal of Deborah, demonstrating a maturity beyond her years and foreshadowing her future success in the industry. One of Connelly's most memorable roles came in 2001's A Beautiful Mind, where she starred opposite Russell Crowe as Alicia Nash, the devoted wife of mathematician John Nash. Her poignant performance earned her an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress, solidifying her status as one of Hollywood's most talented actresses. At the moment, Jennifer Connelly is 53 years old, continuing to deliver powerful performances across a wide range of genres. Beyond her acting career, Connelly is also known for her philanthropic work, particularly her advocacy for environmental causes and human rights issues. She has been involved with organizations such as Amnesty International and the Natural Resources Defense Council, using her platform to raise awareness and affect positive change in the world. Tuesday Weld, born on August 27, 1943, is an enigmatic American actress whose career spans over five decades, marked by captivating performances and a unique screen presence. In Once Upon a Time in America, Weld portrayed Carol, the adult love interest of the film's protagonist, Noodles. At the time of filming, Weld was around 41 years old, bringing a sense of mystery and complexity to her character, whose presence haunts Noodles throughout the film's non-linear narrative. Weld's performance in Once Upon a Time in America showcased her ability to convey depth and emotion with subtlety, earning her praise from audiences and critics alike. One of Weld's most acclaimed roles came in the 1965 film The Cincinnati Kid, where she starred opposite Steve McQueen as Christian, the conflicted love interest of the titular character. Despite her success on screen, Weld has always maintained a sense of privacy and mystique, rarely granting interviews or making public appearances outside of her professional commitments. Treat Williams, born on December 1, 1951, is a versatile American actor whose career has spanned across film, television, and stage. In Sergio Leone's epic crime film, Once Upon a Time in America, 1984, Williams portrayed James Conway O'Donnell, a charismatic and ambitious young man who rises through the ranks of organized crime alongside the film's protagonist, Noodles. At the time of filming, Williams was around 33 years old, bringing a youthful energy and intensity to his portrayal of O'Donnell, whose friendship with Noodles is tested by their involvement in the criminal underworld. One of Williams' most memorable roles came in the 1981 film Prince of the City, where he starred as Daniel Cielo, a conflicted narcotics detective caught between his loyalty to the police force and his desire for redemption. At the moment, Treat Williams is 72 years old, continuing to work in both film and television, showcasing his versatility and talent across various genres and mediums. Beyond his acting career, Williams is also known for his passion for aviation, having obtained his pilot's license and even flying his own plane to film locations during his time on the television series Everwood.
Scott Schutzman Tyler, born on May 24, 1957, is an American actor and filmmaker known for his diverse body of work across film, television, and theater. In Sergio Leone's epic crime film, Once Upon a Time in America, Tyler portrayed Fat Mo, a minor yet memorable character who operates a speakeasy in the Prohibition-era setting of the film. At the time of filming, Tyler was approximately 27 years old, bringing a youthful energy and authenticity to his portrayal of Fat Mo, a small but significant cog in the intricate machinery of Leon's sprawling narrative. While Once Upon a Time in America remains one of Tyler's most notable film credits, he has also appeared in a variety of other projects throughout his career. One of his notable roles was in the 1990 film Men at Work, where he starred alongside Charlie Sheen and Emilio Estevez as Louis Fetters, a supporting character caught up in a comedic caper involving environmental activism and workplace shenanigans. In addition to his acting career, Tyler is also known for his work behind the camera as a filmmaker and producer. He has been involved in the creation of several independent films and documentaries, using his talents to tell compelling stories and shed light on important social issues.